Tonight, dogs, frogs, and a big old hog. What's my BAFTA? It's You've Been Framed! Welcome to the show. And at the Suffolk mansion of Ewan Blair, things take a turn for the worse. Tony and Sherry are home in half an hour. He doesn't look old enough to be riding something that makes that noise. Now remember, accelerator, brake, brake, accelerator. He's a little daredevil, so I think he can do it. And brake. No, oh, we tried to accelerate out of it, and it didn't work out. Wet, wet, wet in their younger days, loading up the truck to go out on tour. <laughs> but where's Marty? <laughs> there he is, look. Yeah, that's not fair, baby! <laughs> ah, three little girls waiting on the riverbank for the 320 to Solihull. <laughs> but it's conker season. <laughs> that was a big conker. I just called the winter branch of the RAC to look at the underside of my 4x4. Oh, my goodness. Yes, you'll need a new exhaust on that, mate. <laughs> Time for a trip stateside. Estelle, you're on, love. They give me a pound I'm going to put the money in my hand right now Set up a motor, we need more seats We just sold out all the floor seats Take me on a trip, I'd like to go someday Take me to your car, I'd like to see her Countryside. Don't worry, they haven't been far. Just down the Asda for a maxi pack of crisps and a heat. Who are they waving to exactly? I see no welcoming committee. And dismount. Well, they didn't have anything to hold on to, did they? Seen these new police dogs? They work as a team. I looked them over. You put the cuffs on. Where are the cuffs? I thought you had them. Now, I've got them. They're back in the van. Legoland has got overgrown after that wet spell in June. Still, it's good fun, though. Ow, ow. <laughs> Quick! There's no one on the log flume. He's relaxed. Meanwhile, here's a little footage from Being Britney Spears, the new documentary on ITV2. I've always heard... Dogs are some cats that never appear. She's a multifaceted personality, if ever there was one. And to beat it all, it's a male pig. Ah, the years have not been kind to Michael Flatley, have they? You can see the flashes of brilliance occasionally, but... Wow. Uh-oh. <laughs> 
<laughs> I'm not sure. Someone give him a Valium. <laughs> not sure what's been going on here, but loving the shoes. Stand up first. <laughs> I'll be honest, I've never got as far as this bit of Legoland, but it looks like fun. <laughs> Is that David Song? <laughs> Hi, Dave. <laughs> Meanwhile, in the storeroom at B&Q, they're stock-taking. Yep, that stuff should see us through till Christmas. I felt that. Oh, It's been snowing, look. Ah, day off school and wet gloves. Oh, he hasn't spotted the house. Well, it was a white house against snow. Difficult to spot. The royals are all out at cloisters again, and here comes Prince Andrew, showing his nautical background with a camp little hornpipe. <laughs> nice. I've got that. Go on, she hasn't presented this show for six years, but my arch rival Lisa Riley still wants to get her face on it. Go on then, Lisa. Have your 250 quid. It's the least I can do. And here comes the British synchronized snowboard cock-up team. Beautifully synchronized <laughs> cock-up. In sync! In sync! <laughs> I thought I was watching a Lowry painting for a moment there. Nice to get a Lowry reference on. You wouldn't have got that with Lisa Riley. How do you keep warm in all that snow? Well, you wear a bobble hat, a pair of mittens, and a pullover. <laughs> pullover, get it? Oh, I'm wasted yeah, on right. this show. Watch this amazing transformation. He starts off as a 25-year-old skier, then ends up as... Oh, Father Christmas! Ho, ho, ho! Who says romance is dead? Here we see the happy couple, Wayne, Rooney and Colleen, in the garden of the palatial bungalow in Swatham. But despite this happy scene, are the cracks in the marriage starting to show? Fingers crossed they sort it out. The British Winter Olympics team haven't got much in the way of facilities and have to make do with a dead tree to jump off. Say hi there. That's soft, That's I still say we're in with a chance of bronze. <laughs> it's his birthday. And isn't it annoying when all your Skeletrics cars and track have been eaten by a snake? This is a bizarre and perverse punishment for failing to put the toilet seat down. <laughs> Ouch. <laughs> Let's see that one more time. <laughs> Frogging by elasticated braces. He's been waiting for this moment for weeks. At last, his Thai bride has been delivered. Oh, there's been a mix-up at the depot. They've delivered Kevin Spacey instead. In case of emergencies, either call 999 or film it. You've been framed. The fifth emergency service.
have a framed gold record for you now. We'd like you to guess how many fainting fits we can get through before the dog squeezes through the bars. See you in a mo. Welcome back. So did you guess how many fainting spells we could fit in before Doggy got through the bars? Let's find out together. Fifteen, get out of jail free. Oh, look, it's TV historian Simon Sharma on holiday. Yes, he's had a drink and is carrying a little favour with the locals. Oh, yes, it's not all work, work, work for Simon. That's it, Prince Nassim. Show him how it's done. I'm not sure about the outfit, Simon. It's a little revealing. Keith Richards' turn now. And he's still on good terms with Joan Baez. Four hours in, and she's just about had enough of him criticizing her swing. I'm sorry, that was an accident, honest. Underarm. Everyone's having fun. Overarm. Frightening. Oh. On the head. We all know the old saying, beware of goths bearing cake. Yes, goths can't stand the fun and excitement of a birthday and will attempt to sabotage it in any way. How about this wish? <laughs> oh, she can dish it out, but she doesn't like your back, though. <laughs> that reminds me, time for some music. This is how you remind me of what I really am. It's not like you, I'm so sorry. I was bringing on a different story. And this time I'm mistaken for you. I was breaking it. I've been right. I've been down deep into the bottom of the bottle. Please stop words in my head. Scientists warn that some people are going to extreme lengths to get their five pieces of fruit a day. <laughs> this man has got one of his five a day, but at what cost? <laughs> early footage of Russell Brand has been released onto the internet, proving he started early. ITV announced that George Sampson has been dropped as the new presenter of Dancing on Ice. That was a funny 
John Prescott is back in the government overseeing gambling and binge drinking. But he's misread the job description and seems to think he has to do both. It's all right, John. Here comes Pauline to give you a lift home. Those were the headlines from You've Been Framed World News. Seen this new fad for face jewellery? The nose newt. <laughs> Let me get him off. Let go. Move. Move. Me. <laughs> Meanwhile, in Japan, an American cat has upset the local parrots. Yes, it's like a parrot cat Pearl Harbor all over again. Banzai! Banzai! This man appears to be chatting up a pot-bellied pig. Hello, gorgeous. I'm about one foot away. Don't patronize me. She charges me, I'm full. Yeah. <laughs> it's the same bloke from the first clip with the nose newt. He's developing a whole range of jewelry based on amphibians. The finger frog. Here, mate, your label's sticking out of your jumper. <laughs> ITV are banking on this being the big hit of the winter season. Celebrity Dancing with Snakes with Jackie Chan. <laughs> Celebrity Dancing with Snakes with Jackie Chan. Coming soon. You're thinking this is all very well, a nice cat and everything, but what's the camera person wearing on their feet? Well, sandals! Don't forget, phone fans, you can now film videos on your mobile. Just email in your clips to framed at itv.com, and if we show it, you'll earn 250 quid. Playtime now, and here's two little sumo wrestlers looking for a laugh. Look out for the swing. Look out for the... But don't let it hit you on the back of the... Oh! Or, again... Michael! Let's hear your donkey impression. Look where you're walking. Oh, at last! 20 minutes into the show and we still hadn't had any trampolines. I was beginning to panic. If we don't have at least one per show, I don't get paid. One of these doors has been painted in creosote and is being tested for toughness with a football. Should have painted the ceiling too, guys. Here's something you don't see every day. We've got plenty of clips of footballs being kicked into other people's faces, but this is the first time someone's managed to kick it into their own. It's a framed first. Which is better, micro scooter or skateboard? Skateboard wins. Come on, girls, get it in gear. Foot down. Down the doctors with a claim for whiplash. Now for the 1812 Overture, so called because it was written at nearly a quarter past six at night.
invite all friends. You can send your DVDs and tapes to us at Free Post You've Been Framed. Send copies, not originals, or email them to us at framed at itv.com. And if we use your clip in one of our programs, you get 250 quid. Cheerio! Have you been behaving? It's parents' evening tonight. To explain, we've got brand new and exclusive mom up first at nine. Then half an hour later at 9.30, Seth Green and Giovanni Rabisi are up in dads. See what we did there? Yeah. Next, there's more You've Been Framed. 